Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Devon's Mackinac Island Fudge Company. We have five different varieties. Death by Chocolate, S'mores, Chocolate Cherry, uh, Strawberry Cheesecake, and Peppermint. These were $3.99 each at Jungle Gems International Market, and we have reviewed uh, uh, Devon's Mackinac on Fudge. Uh, we have several reviews of them, so if for some reason any of these are the same, well, then we're just going to be reviewing them again, because we've tried so many, it's hard to keep trying. And we them. looked, we didn't see them. We looked, we didn't see these, but that doesn't mean anything. Two ounces, 57 grams. There's three and a half servings in this. It is uh, 230 calories. So this is double dark fudge with brownies and chocolate. So death by chocolate. This is all over the bar. Yes, you have to get it open. Without killing yourself. Right. <laughs> but- uh, well, Sometimes it cuts easier than others. This, uh, the s'mores is the only one. It had a different, the s'mores has a different label. Mm. Gosh, that smells good. Phenomenal. It smells oh like very my dark. Goodness. Uh, the big enough? Yes, that's perfect. Very so soft. that's what you do is you get these, and if you want to put them in like a a tin of your own and pretend like you made it, you yeah, can. Yeah, come in squares. Uh huh. Their fudge is, is like a really good texture. Mm hmm. Very creamy, smooth. That's a really good flavor. I was expecting it to be dark, like bitter. It is not at all. It is not at all. That, mm, to me, really is the perfect Christmas fudge. The kind that you make. Oh, uh, yeah, so, at Christmas. Uh, Except it doesn't have walnuts in it. The only difference. Right. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I'm sure they make they one. They do, probably. Oh, sure. that, that is like five out of five. That mm. is delicious. This but is I mean, the, for the perfect Christmas fudge, has to have walnuts. <laughs> yeah, but that's true. Uh, this is s'mores, and it says chocolate fudge with marshmallow and chocolate fudge grams. Uh, 230 calories, so the same calories. I wonder if all of these have the same calories. No, and they don't. And if you're worried about the peppermint, the peppermint, of course, would have been out for Christmas. I would assume it would have been a seasonal thing, but the date on it's still good. And so when we were at Jungle Gems, they only had two peppermints left. And I said, you know what? The date is still good on this. I'm going to go ahead and get and it. Gonna, they'll have a next year that's got crumbs in it. So um, I'm gonna get a piece right here. So this is a, a lighter, lighter looking chocolate, lighter uh, color from the one before. And it has a big piece of graham. I gave you the really big piece of gum. Mm. Again, super creamy and, and really good texture. I don't get marshmallowy. I, I was going to say, gram. I get the gram, but I don't necessarily get marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Now, I can see it. Mm -hmm. I can see marshmallow. There time. are bits of marshmallow in there. I just think I didn't happen to get that. I got a lot of the gram. Once again, though, it's delicious chocolate. I don't think it's as creamy as oh, the first one. I think it's just as but, good. Of course, you got a big hunk of, of the gram, gram in here. I didn't get right. quite as big of So I think it still is just as good quality. Mm -hmm. But for me, my experience of my bite was creamier on the first right. one. So this is chocolate cherry fudge. Chocolate fudge with Traverse City tart oh. cherries, and this is 210 calories. We've had stuff with this mm -hmm. cherries before. Yes. And these are on, um, we've seen uh, Devon's Mackinac Island Fudge Company displays in other stores. Um, and usually it's, it's just completely random. Um, don't what, they where they're at, you mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't they have one over the last time we went to Uncle Charlie's Meats? They had mm -hmm. a display yeah, of, of yeah. this, which really surprised me. It's just in odd places, but Jungle Gems, they had these five flavors plus tons more that we had already tried. Let me make sure I got you a cherry. Oh, good. 
Mm. Very soft. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, the bite I had had cherry. I made sure you got cherry. You really taste the cherry when you get a bite with the cherry in it. I wonder if you do. Let me try a bite without. This says <clears throat> no gluten, no high fructose corn syrup, no trans fat. And if this is made in Mackinac City. It's not as strong a cherry flavor when you get a piece that doesn't have any cherry in it. Right. You still get a little bit of the cherry flavor, but it's not very strong. So you really need to get a bite the, with, with that the piece in there. Of cherry. I think it's, it's delicious though. I, I love the texture of it. Yeah, even when you don't get the cherry, it's still really good. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is strawberry now I'm looking cheesecake. Forward to this one. Cheesecake fudge with strawberry chips. And it is 240 calories. I swear that seems higher than the first one. 240. Yeah, the first one was 230. So this, I think this is the highest calorie one that we've had. I'm still saying it for right now that the Death by Chocolate is my favorite so far. The first mm. one that is we that tried. Is that what it's called? Death by Chocolate? Death by Chocolate. Mmm, that smells good. And this one's stickier. Like, much stickier. Like, a lot stickier. Well, I wonder if it's because of the white chocolate. Mm, um, it is sticky. It says strawberry chips. It's almost like, uh, you know how ice cream gets sticky when it's, uh, when it's kind of dried out a little bit? Uh -huh. That's what this is like. That's good. I think I like the chocolates better. I do too. But I do like the flavor, that vanilla flavor in there. It's, it's different. Um, I don't necessarily taste cheesecake. Um, I get a I little mean, bit I of that where they're sourness. I see and, where they're going. Yeah, I mean, I get a little bit of that. But um, that one's okay. That's not one I would buy again. Right. It's just not at the... It, it, it doesn't come across as sweet as the other ones. Yeah. And you do get a hint of strawberry, but once again, it's not a really, really strong strawberry. It's kind of like weak strawberry milk. Yes. So, yes. It, like it, it, like, like yes. Nestle strawberry or and whatever. And you didn't add enough you, didn't add, you only added like a spoonful into a big glass. And right. it's kind of like you get the little bit of the strawberry taste, but it's not really strong. Right. And it still is sweet, but it does, just doesn't seem as sweet right. as the And as it has that kind of chocolate. milky flavor. Right. Yeah. That, that's what it reminds me of if you ever had weak strawberry milk. <laughs> so, this is peppermint fudge, um, and it is 230 calories. And it looks like it has tons of peppermint. And I, I had to get one. I mean, I think a lot of people, if the date were close, a lot of people would have been like, well, I'm not buying that. The date's too close. I just thought, oh, I want to try this and uh, we'll make sure we eat it before the date. I wonder, since they have this, if they don't make like other seasonal like flavors. Eggnog. Exactly. Eggnog. eggnog, pumpkin spice, you know, uh, things like that. Is that for me or is that? That one's a little more dense. I'm glad the peppermint pieces, well, I would have been okay with crunchy peppermint pieces, mm -hmm. but there's no crunchiness in there. No, and I'm glad too because it's fudge, and I don't necessarily in fudge want a crunchy mm -hmm. piece. But I tell you what. Well, this is a pecan or walnut. This was probably made a while back. And it still is just as soft as it can mm -hmm. be. The outside is a little, because I got the very end of it. Right. It's a little denser and drier. Yeah, right. Like this just end. A, yeah. Yeah, like right there. You push it. But and you it feel still a little, is still. Nice. It's not bad at all. It's like it's like it's developed a skin on it. Kind of like if you leave brownies out, you make them at home. Right. You leave the brownies out, it gets that little crust on the top. That's what the little edge is. It's like it's just got a little bit of crust on it, but it's still soft. The peppermint in that reminds me of those peppermint candies that you like a lot, where you put them in your mouth and they kind of dissolve. Yeah, they're pow they're powdery kind of. Yeah. Yeah, the little balls. Yes, and they're that delicious. Yeah, yeah, that's that does kind of remind you. That's of those, the yeah. peppermint is in those peppermint candies, mm -hmm. uh, which I like that peppermint because it's not as strong as the hard. I agree. Peppermint candy or, can or candy cane. It's not as sharp. Right. It's not as, as that. Right. This so this has plenty of peppermint in it, 
but it would remind you more of those d balls that dissolve. Mm -hmm. um, but then with the still got that peppermint flavor. Oh yeah, mouth, it's so. nice, and it definitely would freshen your breath. Mm -hmm. But it's not toothpastey at no. all. No, it's good. Well, like I'm that. still sticking with my my the Death by Chocolate is still my favorite, and that's the one with. Um, Double dark fudge with brownies and chocolate. It did not taste like a dark chocolate though. It really just tasted like brownies and. Mm, I agree with you. Oh, you, you like mm. that one the best too. Um, and if then the s'mores are probably my number two. Probably yeah, probably the s'mores and then the dark cherry. Any of the, the ones that are in chocolate, chocolate um, are gonna be my first picks. The only reason I didn't pick cherry as number two is because there's not tons of cherries in there i mean there's cherries right. in there but if you're just getting the chocolate it's, the chocolate's not as good as the death by chocolate one right so it's good it's just not as good well these are all terrific quality and i'm sure in the other reviews uh, kevin's gonna try them all again just to make sure um i'm sure we loved uh all of those as well i remember this we haven't had it in a while but i remember them being uh just so very good. good it seems like they had a couple candy bar ones too like a maybe a Snickers or a, a mm, Butterfinger like or, or something like that. Yeah, they, they just have a lot to choose from. And they're so, all really good. Even the, even the ones that are white, like the strawberry one, is good. It's just not chocolatey. It's more of a, like a vanilla. Right, so it's milk, like... I mean, star milk kind of flavor. Right, so it's like if you're paying $4, uh, normally you're not going to buy as many as we did. And so uh, our preference, even though those are excellent quality, our preference preference is probably going to always go to the chocolate. Yeah, and I'm thinking one of our favorites out of the other batches was just the regular chocolate. Just the regular I'm thinking it was. <laughs> yeah, I think it was too. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video and you can get your hands on some of these and thanks for watching. <laughs>